Hi, everybody, and welcome to this Bulls update. My name is Paul Peck, joined by UB Women's Soccer Head Coach Sean Burke as we are heading towards the Mid-American Conference Tournament Championship end-of-season time. So I know you're excited, but I guess my first question to you is what kind of a mood are you in after three straight draws? Those can be a little frustrating for a coach, can't they? They can. They can. But, you know, when you take the time to sit back and really reflect, the, the girls are playing phenomenal. And these last three games, we're playing at a really high level. Um, and, and the game can be cruel, can, can be really cruel at times, especially when you look at the result yesterday. Uh, but as long as they keep believing in what they're doing, um, it's also an honest game, and they're, they're going to get the reward. But they gotta, they got to stay on the positive and keep believing because they're, they're playing. And, and we played great yesterday, but these last few games we've been playing really, really well. Right, and I assume that's what you're emphasizing to your team is how well they're playing. Yes, the results may not be what, you, what everybody wanted, but I, I assume that if you're playing well, you're going to get those kind of results. So is that the message? Absolutely. You want to be playing your best soccer this time of the year, and it's without question that we are. And, you know, we'll continue to work and, and we'll work on the areas that we're struggling in right now. But you want to be peaking come November. And I think this group is. Um, and we look at the, the seven seniors on the group that know what it takes. I think that's a huge advantage for us going into the playoffs. The latest draw was the 1-1 draw against a very, very good Central Michigan game where your team at times was a dominant team. That's probably what makes it so frustrating to have allowed the Chippewas to score in the final minute to tie the game up after you had really controlled the play. So take me through that game and what are the and some of the good things that you saw. Yeah, well, it's it's easy to uh, to harp on the the big negative that happened, conceding the goal that late in the game uh, to that you know. The game ends up in a draw, but we need to look at the the bulk of what happened. And we took one of the best teams, not only in the MAC but in the country this year, and we dictated play the entire time. And we controlled, and we we controlled tempo, controlled chances, um, and that's what we want to build off of, and that's what we want to focus on, uh, because we can just keep fine tuning what we're getting good at and what we need work on. Um, but the girls know we can play with every single team in this conference, and and while the record might not show it. Um, I think they do believe that they're the, the one of the best teams in this conference. The uh, the goal in that game against Central Michigan comes from Carissa McCatrona, her 10th of the season, just the second player in the last 13 years to score 10 goals in a season. Um, we've talked an awful lot about Carissa before, mm -hmm. but give me something else that we can talk about here <laughs> about the kind of season that she's had. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, we all, we, you look at the most successful years that we've had here, there's, there's always somebody that steps up. In, in big moments to, to put the ball in the back of the net. And I think as a, as a group, we've struggled the most with that this year. Um, so for her to find the consistency and the, especially to find double digits. Um, and the nice thing about yesterday's goal was her movement. You know, she, she didn't get frustrated. Uh, it was a great vision, a great pass from, from Andrea Neipert out of the midfield. Um, and it was a goal we hadn't scored all year. Uh, so it was nice to see something different, a nice different pattern for us. Um, and again, just shows how dangerous we can be. All right, so it kind of comes down to a Thursday match here at UB Stadium against Akron, a win or a draw in that one, and you lock yourself into a spot in the MAC tournament. That's a lot of pressure, but give me your, your preview of what you're expecting in this match. Yeah, you, it, it's, it speaks volumes to this conference because we're going in against Akron, who's, who's been mathematically eliminated, but you know they they beat central on on thursday they were down two nothing with six minutes to go in a game and won the game three two so this team has a ton of resolve uh, fantastic coaching uh, they're going to be up for it and and it's going to be a battle for us um, but i think we want to continue this momentum of good play um, hopefully we'll obviously like to see the ball hit the back of the net a few more times but we want to take a ton of momentum going into conference um, you know especially because we're going to be going on the road here uh, but Again, it's going to be a great challenge for us. I think our girls have the right mindset going into it, uh, and, I, and I think they're hungry and they want to keep playing. All right, so it might be your last chance to get a chance to see Sean's women's soccer team play. Kind of a double, neat doubleheader coming up on Thursday. His team plays Akron at noon, and then it's the football squad against Akron later on that night. Good luck, and hopefully uh, we're talking about the MAC tournament coming up next week. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. All right, that's Sean Burke. He is the UB women's soccer head coach. We thank him for joining us on this Bulls Update.